robotic arms one of the most important robotics type that is utilized in industry the most working with robotic arms open up doors for opportunities as well with ross 2 we utilize another software move it to for its motion planning and cumbersome mathematic solutions for simulation in gazebo let's see what is the pipeline for bringing a robot with uidf and setting up move it with it and work in the simulation and perform all of the kinematics and inverse kinematic solutions bringing the robot into environment which is mostly done through uidf or zacro files we then add controllers into the robot so we can move the joints in the simulation once the controllers are set, most popular one is joint trajectory controller. We then move towards move it configuration. For the gripper part, we set a position controller or a effort controller. Once the simulation and ROS communication is set, we bring in move it. For move it, we give all of the properties for our robot. It also generates ROS2 control tags for us and we can add depth sensor to our robot's base as well. Once this easy to follow, a GUI based setup is complete. We test by running the demo for a robot that enables us to move the end effector and make plans according to our needs. The last part is to utilize move group nodes to write your code to send goals to the robotic arm group and also the gripper that we have. The first thing we need to do is to bring our robot in Arviz and Gazebo. For this video, we are just going to bring in KUKA, which is a very popular robotic arm and used a lot in industry as well. KUKA package is provided. You just need to clone it and fix all of the parts and remove the controllers of ROS1 package. You can see the robot falls on the ground, glides with its own body. This is because the structure just tells gazebo simulation that it is connected at these points, but it does not tell that you need to add a motor here. You need to add friction here. You need to add rotational aspect at this specific joint. This is done through ROS2 controllers. We will be using joint trajectory controller and there are endless possibilities with custom controllers, effort controller, velocity and position controls that you can integrate. With controller set, you can bring in Python nodes in which you integrate inverse kinematics libraries like IKPy or Robotics Toolbox by Peter Koch, its Python interface. With that, you can drive your robot as I am driving my robot in a square and that is done through inverse kinematic solution through IKPy. ROS2 control integrated in your robot with the controllers of your choice. Most popular one is joint trajectory controller that controls all of your joint at once with one single command. Now here, if you want to make the robotic arm work, theory comes in and brings a lot of mathematics for kinematic solutions. You can utilize very popular libraries like IKPy or Robotics Toolbox by Peter Koch for Python interfaces. You can utilize them and produce your robotic arm move to your directed paths. But MoveIt provides a lot more useful features than just solving kinematic equations. The GUI MoveIt interface is quite easy to interface our robot with this whole software. It makes a lot of things easier. We need to first define the robot, its joint groups, robotic arm clip, the tool and the arm that we need kinematic solution for. The tool, we provide the type of controllers. We generate a complete package with MoveIt configuration to drive it easily. And that saves a lot of our time. We also have a lot of documentation for MoveIt available on its wiki and advanced features of it like holding the object and then planning without colliding to anything in the environment, the arm and the object as well. Once this whole pipeline is set, it takes a lot of effort to bring the robot to write launch files for bringing the simulations. You can then write simple nodes or services that will drive your robot to a specific location of your choice. Or you can write a pipeline for detecting the objects and bringing the robotic arm to appropriate location to pick it, hold it or place it anywhere else. This pipeline requires the core functionality of move it to take care of not colliding with any obstacle in the environment. With ROS2 and move it to pipeline configuration, you can bring your robots into performing complex tasks of motion planning. But this is just the base. A lot of people spend a lot of their time in getting to this point writing from scratch. But move it makes a lot of things easier for us. You can directly start building applications upon it and make your robot perform autonomously using this pipeline.